here we are here now breaking news you know canada cracks open the nato coalition's egg has fallen off the wall and it's broken in too many pieces for the guards to put it ever back together again they sure can not now it's over yeah yeah wow incredible and in canada canada which never makes the news you know like <laughs> But Canada has been like a cesspool of a Nazi haven, you know, for uh, war criminals who escaped, you know, justice under the Red Army and fled to Canada. And Canada gave them haven, even while, you know, the Jewish refugees were not welcome here. Jewish refugees were not welcome here before the Holocaust, not during the Holocaust, and not after the Holocaust even. It was only that my parents had a sister who had lived here previous to the war that sponsored my father, that my family, my parents were able to come in here with my mother pregnant with me, <laughs> conceived in a Jewish refugee camp. We just made it into Canada barely. But, you know, 2,000 Ukrainian neo-Nazis, actual Nazis, you know, who were part of the Nazi army under German state command in the German SS Waffen Galiziana contingent brigade or whatever it is you know there they are he's right there you know a war criminal being fisted you know in the house of commons under the liberal well, government see to me i am very pleased with the outcome of this because the alliance between Zelensky or the Ukrainian government, Ukrainian fascist, worldwide, worldwide Ukrainian Nazis, and the West has not been allowed to be discussed in, in the Western press since the special military operation began. There's been active censorship mm. of this story. Mm. Since the since this operation began, hmm. you are not allowed. It is not allowed to have this story discussed, even by so-called critics such as Scott Ritter, who's who I doubt I have some concerns about. Hmm. No one wants to discuss this. Hmm. Only the no, only the Russians hmm. and those who, those who are allied with the people in in eastern Donbas in the eastern parts of Ukraine, now part of Russia. Or mm. have raised the issue of the alliance historically and currently between the West, Azov Battalion, the um, the um, Maidan coup, uh, Newland, uh, um, Mr. Obama, and now Mr. Um, Biden, the British, the French, and the Germans. All these. All these supporters who are the who are the fuelers of the war are in direct alliance with fascists. Mm -hmm. Before before the special military operation began, mm -hmm. you usually made this, oh yeah, there's some there's some Nazis. But look, but look at now, Azov Battalion goes to Israel mm -hmm. and gets fetched in Israel by the Likud party. No, by I think by I'm not, I'm not sure it was by Likud or by Labour. But they found ground in Israel. Mm. This is why. Okay, this uh, this is a little bit off, a little bit off topic. But this is why I don't support free speech. Mm -hmm. In the sense, in the sense of, you can say what you want, do what you want. No. I think Germany is correct. We can ban. I think you can ban some things. But you know, it depends on who's in power, what what's banned. So that's that's the whole end of the whole in my argument. I know I know there's a flaw in my argument, but these these guys and ladies can do what they want, like the um, the transsexual American uh, spokesman who joined the Ukrainian military and threatened to kill all the Russians last week, mm -hmm. Sarah, who got who was suspended from her job for just threatening to kill Russians. That's okay. Lindsey Graham can say it's the best thing we ever did. Best use of our money to kill Russians. That's not cool. Mm. Yeah, just, because kill Russians, just because they're Russians. Just because they're Russians. 
yeah. not just Russian just journalists, but uh, a pro-Russian journalist, you know, she was threatening. Yeah, I saw that video, incredible, you know. Yeah. And, and she and, tried um, to deny well, it, you know, but, but, you know, and then invented it afterwards, you know, in the various other videos that she was working with the Nazis, you know, in the Ukrainian military. She spoke yeah. for, the, uh, for the troops there, yeah. Incredible, so, you know. So this story breaks it all open, you know. Like that was just, you know, like on so on on the internet, you know, that got through, you know. But now the internet, you know, like media, like us, have been able to surpass the regular commercial media and cause a scandal in Canada that would have been ignored otherwise, you know, by the regular commercial media, right? Yes, right. Except that, you know, like you know, like this is such, you know, like a a, a gaff. An expose, you know, of what what the Liberal Party is and what liberalism is actually, you know, but it was done, you know, by the Conservative Party of Canada as well. You know, they jumped on this, you know, like as a way to, uh, you know, bash, uh, you know, the Liberal Party. And uh, they've done it, you know, like I'd like to see the polls, you know, after this, because all the illusions about the liberalism here in Canada have just been shattered. You know, it's incredible. And this has been exposed, you know, for a long time, you know, by the Coat website, you know, in Canada. Which you know listed all the various uh, um, and, and nationalities from Eastern Europe, you know, that found refuge in Canada, and what per, you know, large percentage of them, you know, were Nazis or pro-Nazi, you know, sympathizers or collaborators or informers, you know, who caused the deaths of others, all of whom, you know, like uh, were too afraid to stay, you know, there because they knew that they were guilty of killing, a murder. So you know, they found refuge in Canada. Incredible. You know, and then they get subsidized, you know, like every year, you know, for cultural activities, you know, to publish a newsletter or something like that. You know, they get, you know, public funds, you know, to sustain themselves, you know, to build up a reservoir of Nazism. Wow. And then it was, you know, like so overt too, you know, like it, it wasn't as if, you know, like the members of the parliament, you know, didn't know what was happening because they were told by the Speaker of the House that this guy, you know, was a volunteer soldier, you know, uh, fighting against Russia. Now, who else was fighting against Russia and Ukraine? Not Ukraine. It wasn't a country, you know, like it was occupied by the Nazi regime. You know, like there wasn't a Ukraine. There wasn't an independent Ukrainian military. He was a member of the German Nazi army. You know, they were a division within that army, you know, of the SS. Incredible. You know, they just, you know, were all grouped together, you know, in the same brigade, you know, because they were Ukrainian, because they spoke Ukrainian, you know, like by necessity. But they were part of the German army. You know, like incredible. You know, they were told that. And they still, even the New Democratic Party, the Social Democratic Party, stood up and applauded twice. They <laughs> all they all should be forced to resign and have new elections. Yeah, this government is gone. Yeah. Has no, this go, no, the, the government should, the, because especially on the parliamentary system that exists in Canada, on the capitalist bourgeois democracy, on the, on the, on the, the Canadian people, Need to make the demand. Everybody in the damn, everybody who was in there who stood up and applauded and voted for that shit need to be need to step down. Yeah. Need to be new elections. New. That's the only way for Canada to redeem. I'm not saying I want Canada to redeem itself. No, it's a capitalist government who stole <laughs> native land, involved in, in imperialist alliances around the world. Nothing won't do to, to as a part of the imperialist the imperialist core. But what I'm saying is sometimes there are demands you can make. Let me give you an example. In some parts of the United States right now, gasoline is $6 a gallon, almost $7 a gallon, $8 a gallon. A person told me recently, who is going to demand the politician to do something? All of a sudden, the politician did something, and the mm -hmm. press are going down. Not because they're good people, no, but the, the man was made on them. So in, I'm just giving an example. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the, 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 what I'm saying is that to me in Canada right now is a key opportunity, especially for the NDP, especially for them. They need to be, uh, they need to be, those people who are in part, who voted for that, need to be forced to step down and have new elections, or they need to be replaced by somebody. There need to be some accountability. You're here, you're, you are here, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go off again, I'm sorry. The same thing is this in the United States. When it comes to the, when it comes to the Confederacy and slavery and the post-Confederate government, the post-Confederate governments, the Black Codes governments, there is a there is an acceptance 
oh, well, this, this is the way it was. Now things are better. No. No acceptance. Those cats who voted, who, 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 who approved this come, come to the, come to the entire government should fall. The entire the government should come down. Mm. This, this is a classic, this is a classic case for a general strike, some kind of action by a broad mass of Canadians mm. to bring down the government. Because you ally with the, you ally with somebody who's to, with a, a historically a historically verified crime against humanity. There's this is, and people I'm accept criminal. Yeah. People, people accept the Holocaust as a crime against humanity. Yeah. People don't accept slavery. The slavery is not accept, accepted as a crime against humanity. It isn't. Yeah. It is not. But the Holocaust <laughs> is. So Agreed. since it is, take advantage of it. This is the, you know, like slave slavery. You know, my 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 aunt, you know, she was a slave for the German war munitions factory in Germany. You no, know? no, what, 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 what I'm saying is that <laughs> the Holocaust is accepted as a crime against humanity. Yeah. It is. There's, there's, you know, Poland no, is even no, calling I mean, for the extradition, right? Poland is calling right. for his extradition, you know, to be put on trial for war crimes but, against Polish people. But I'm saying, not against I'm Jewish saying people. Right? Yeah. I'm saying the Canadian government now has the people of Canada have to demand not as an apology, but the politicians oh, yeah. who took these stands have to be removed. Yeah. But they, they haven't even apologized. Steve, they haven't even apologized. You know, the interviews, you know, like chasing no, after no. them, you know, on the corridor, you know, they don't they don't even want to apologize. And they moved the motion in the House of Commons to strike it from the historic record. This has never been done before. You know, like it's not possible. Everything that goes into the, you know, like it's a videotape, you know, in the House of Commons or into the Gazette, you oh. know, it stays there, you know, you can't remove it. You so, know? so that means so that so that means then. There must now be an international movement yeah. against Canada around yeah. the world to make this happen. Boycott because Canada, it, 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 really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if if, if Canada cannot apologize, yeah. if Canada cannot remove the members of the parliament because they because they endorsed a crime against humanity, yeah. then the international the international community of civil society and activists who yeah. know better. Must demand that Canada that the government be be dismissed. Period. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It, it, <laughs> it's you know it's a danger here in Canada as well. You know this is another aspect of it. You know there's an additional aspect that I want to refer to later on. But yeah. you know the the uh, the the uh, the Nazi you know like a uh, um, uh, uh, war criminals who fled to Canada. You know were not just from Ukraine. They were from all of the East European countries. Okay. So. You know, there's a, a sort of a certain milieu there, you know, especially in Western Canada, you know, that has cultivated, you know, these communities in isolation and they've, you know, raised, you know, new generations and and the, the movement um, that they have, you know, formed, reformed, you know, amongst themselves it comprises about 30,000, uh, you know, uh, soldiers, basically, you know, people are willing to be soldiers, you know, very dangerous, you know, like a milieu here in Canada and 30,000 in Canada is, is like lots. So... And the other thing that I wanted to mention, you know, is that this is a scandal on a scandal, you know, because the Liberal Party are the big Zionists of Canadian politics. And here we have the Zionists, you know, like pro-Zionists, you know, buddy-buddy with the Nazis. You know, so the, the Jewish Zionists, you know, they can't take it, you know, like it blew their minds. You know, and they and all of the, you know, their, you know, civil civil rights organizations, you know, were forced, you know, come out in condemnation of the liberal government. You know, like they just lost, you know, like a big pillar of support, you know, in Canada. I hope it doesn't go to the Conservative Party. It could go to the NDP with the, uh, you know, the uh, the leader being a Sikh. That would be very interesting. You know, probably Jewish community will split on this. But uh, this is, you know, like, you know, like never before has this happened. You know, there's always, you know, like very solid, you know, alliance between the Liberal Party and the, and the uh, you know, Jewish, uh, you know, bourgeoisie, bourgeois institutions, which I have cracked open now because I won the judge's decision to go back to the Jewish Community Center. Yeah. I haven't done so yet, though. <laughs> very good. Very good. That's excellent. That's excellent. So what do you, so let, 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 Let's explain to, the, to everybody why. Can you can you do do a timeline of what exactly happened here so everybody is clear? So there's no mistake. If, if let's say they've missed the news, let's say they they they've been busy, 
They don't watch international news. They have their head in the sand. They're they 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 they've been on a trip outside the the newspaper and internet re, okay. uh, zones. Context. You know, okay. yeah. yeah. Context is this, okay? <laughs> the Liberal government of Canada is supporting NATO and supporting NORAD with North North uh, North American. Uh, uh, air defense uh, def alliance with the United States, you know, like Canada's like the backyard of the U.S., you know. So right. um, they come out, you know, Canada's, you know, like just allocated, you know, a half a billion dollars, you know, additional aid, you know, to uh, Ukraine military to buy, you know, arms from, you know, Canada probably, you know, like American military subsidies in Canada, manufacturing in Canada, so Canada wants a piece of the pie. So Can Canadian government is giving a subsidy for Ukraine to buy, you know, armed goods manufactured in Canada, thus, you know, doing a stimulation, subsidizing the local private corporations that are American subsidies. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. So, um, you know, and, and uh, in order to sort of, you know, to put a, a kosher stamp on it, you know, the liberal government seems, you know, like have arranged, you know, a meeting and a presentation of this uh, Ukrainian nationalist, supposedly, uh, to the House of Commons, you know, in order to, you know, beef up support, you know, for this uh, half a billion dollars, you know, without criticisms, you know, from the opposition, because they didn't want to be criticized, you know, for wasting public funds. When, you know, the hospitals, you know, we have 8 million people in Canada waiting, you know, for surgical operations, you know, to correct something like me, you know, to get my knees fixed. So, you know, like, you know, half a billion dollars, you know, is going to Ukraine, you know, for what? So they put up this, you know, like the Speaker of the House gets up, you know, barely coherent uh, and announces this this Ukrainian nationalist who fought against the Russians uh, and is now supporting the current, you know, soldiers who are fighting against the Russians as well. And he was fighting against the Russians in the Second World War. Okay, so who was fighting against the Russians in the Second World War? I mean, it was the Nazi, you know, military of Germany that had invaded Russia, I believe. Yes, and everyone agrees that it's that. And they invaded, you know, the Ukraine as well. And, the, you know, Ukraine, you know, was an occupied territory, you know, it didn't exist anymore. There was no Ukrainian military. In fact, there was no Ukrainian, uh, there was a military resistance from Ukraine, but part of the Russian army. There were 7 million Ukrainians who volunteered for the Russian Red Army to fight against the Nazi invasion of the Ukraine. But there was 125,000 Ukrainians who volunteered for the German army and formed a uh, brigade uh, in the uh, German military, SS Waffen uh, Division. And uh, the Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainian speaking division was called the Galicianen. And, uh, you know, they, what did they do? You know, they went even more, they went, they were even more extreme than Nazis. They went around hunting Jewish people and Roma people, and limited, you know, like a million and a half, you know, Jewish or Ukrainians don't exist anymore except for Zelensky <laughs> and uh and Roma people you know right now they're being you know uh, hunted down Roma people are you know there's no news about this but they're being hunted down right there right now you know and in Hungary as well you know and this I hear directly from my Hungarian Roma friends so this guy you know like is you know stands up in the public gallery and is fed it you know by the speaker of the house and everybody stands up and gives them an ovation, you know, as if, you know, like he's a great hero, you know, like this Nazi is a hero, you know, for having fought Russia during the Second World War. And if he had won, then, you know, we would all be under a fascist regime, international fascist regime. And it seems as if, you know, like there was and still is, you know, sympathy to that effect. So NATO is, you know, like rehabilitating fascism, Nazism, rehabilitation of Nazism, incredible. You know, you know, so even though, you know, like 45,000 Canadians died, you know, fighting against the Nazis and Russia was an ally of Canada, you know, in, to, in order to save, you know, its democracy. And this democracy is, you know, uh, welcoming, you know, the Nazis in, uh, into the house. So then, you know, like the speaker goes on, you know, says something else and then they give them another ovation, you know, and they, they all get up and then. This is all recorded on, you know, the house, you know, video and audio. So, you know, after the scandal broke in, you know, the internet, basically, then, you know, uh, then the uh, Liberal Party moved a motion to, to eliminate and, and censor out the video of their 
you know, two uh, standing ovations for the Nazi because they, they had nothing to say, you know, they, they had no answer, you know, for what they, were, what, it, what they had done. So they actually moved the motion to have it, you know, eliminated, you know, from the Gazette, you know, from the recording, from the historical record, even though, you know, it's all over the internet, you know, it cannot be, you know, suppressed at all. And in fact, the Gray Zone, you know, did a beautiful job of bringing together all of the uh, documentary video on the question, you know, nice job there, guys, yeah. So now what happens? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> Poland is going to, you know, extradite the jerk, you know, to uh, Poland to stand trifle for war crimes, you know, 98 years old. Yeah, get him while the, while the, the while the heart's still open. Yeah, um, the entire affair, the entire affair is so despicable. The entire affair from beginning to end is deplorable. The entire affair and all of its components is absolutely disgusting. Mm -hmm. There's no socially redeeming value mm -hmm. from this entire affair. Mm -hmm. The attempted censorship of historical record mm -hmm. Right there, you see how far they will go to cover up their crimes. Yeah. Let's change what we know didn't happen. Let's change it to some other um, fairy tale. So 100 years from now, they, oh, that didn't happen. Hmm. Yeah. The fact that, and now, correct me if I'm wrong, the fact that the Canadian press, correct me if I'm wrong, did not break this story. It came from the internet. Mm. Broke the story. It simply shows, I hate to say that the Canadian parliament, like all parliaments of Catholic governments, is a, next, a nest of snakes. Yeah. yeah. A nest of snakes and rats and vampires mm. and human, I'm sorry, predators and human scum. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's just really, the story you just told. Because they're fighting Russia, they're good. Well, that just shows you Russia phobia is no good mm -hmm. because some, a country's political stance can vary mm -hmm. from situation, even though they're, they are capped. I mean, you have a whole different form of government, of society than you had during, during World War II, now Russia. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so ahistoric. It's ahistorical. Yeah. It's shows no understanding of history. We really know who to hate. We want to hate somebody. That's all we have to do is just hate you. That this should show the youth. It should show scholars. It should show people of conscience. You can't just go. You can't just be motivated solely on hate. Mm -hmm. Because right now, let me say. I mean, they're against Russia. They're our friends. That and it shows the to me the historical alliance between the capitalist class, the capitalist governments, yes. and the Nazis, and the Nazis. This has been a, this has been a, a alliance for no less than 60, than 60s, 80 years. Wow. An 80-year an 80, an 80 alliance af, 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 after World War II. Yeah. Was about a 77, 78-year alliance yeah. has finally been exposed in a different, it's been exposed at different times. Yeah. But now it's been exposed even more. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Imagine what Almost it's going to do to Israel's alliance with Ukraine, you know, and then Netanyahu's, you know, like, a, you know, a endorsement of Zelensky and all this, you know, like, what? Oh. Ooh. No, you know, that's going to melt away. And then, you know, like, well, what's gonna, you know, this is, there's a reflection to happen, you know, in the United States. There's a second wave, you know, of scandals to come, you know, in the United States. Yeah. You, you know, there was the paperclip campaign, you know, to bring in, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Nazi intelligence officers who knew, uh, who had a network, you know, an anti-communist network had already established in Eastern Europe that they converted into CIA agents. This is how the CIA the was formed. Well, the second the half of the CIA, yeah, besides yeah. information gathering, they, you know, when they started to become, you know, like a covert action, you know, organization, this is how they did it, you know, with the Nazis. And yeah. then, you know, the space race, you know, like was all based, built upon, you know, the soldiers, you know, of the German engineers, you know, who are working for the Nazis. Yep. 
and and you know besides you know building you know like uh, uh, NASA ships, they're also building you know like uh, rockets you know to carry nuclear bombs. Same technology. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So I, all, 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 all I can hope, Abraham, is that this conversation can spur our viewers to take peaceful, democratic, anti-imperialist, anti-Nazi, anti-Canadian government action around the world. Mm -hmm. The Canadian government should be on the hot seat wherever it shows its ugly head. Yeah. Wherever the union, wherever the flag flies over an embassy, it should be a place we can demonstrate and denounce them for being collaborators with Nazis. A a a verifiable, a verified, historically verifiable mm -hmm. crime against humanity. Yeah, unapologetic, so unapologetic. You know, like uh, allies yes. of the Nazis. Yeah, unapologetic, yeah. and and to and to cover up your collaboration. You want to censor your own documents, yeah. so history, so history will not be accurate. Yeah. Oh, the that prime is, minister is, herself is a granddaughter of a Nazi propagandist, you know, from the Ukraine during the Second World War. Oh. You know, like, and <laughs> she's still there. She's still there, and she was the one, you know, nodding yes in agreement, you know, with the motion to censure, you know, the public record of the House of Commons. Oh, wow. Yeah. This should be taught in Canadian schools right now. This is starting what moment, is happening. Yeah, yeah I mean, this, no, this moment in social studies, Canadian history, yeah. Canadian political science, this is a moment to yeah. really look at, at I'm, I'm, I'm not pointing out anybody's government over anybody else's government, but right now, the Canadian the Canadian nation is under is on the microscope. Yeah. What will Canada do? Because yeah. this is an attempt yeah. to ally with a movement that is verified as a crime against humanity. Mm. There's nobody can argue that that has any moral compass. It makes me and think you of, the, uh, to... of the preceding scandal in Canada, you know, like the uh, the boarding uh, boarding schools, you know, for, in, for yes. indigenous, you know, first yes. nations children, you know, and they ripped, you know, the next generation, the future away from all of the nations by force. And then those children who refused to speak you know, uh, other than their own native language, you know, were basically killed and they're buried, you know, in the in the backyard, you know, the places, you know, where they're trying, you know, to find, you know, the the thousands, you know, of children's bodies that are buried, you know, at the at the church grounds, you know, that were moralizing, you know, and berating, you know, them for being savages. And when they were themselves, you know, were so so what's the word? They were so Wow. Panda is like, is, you know, is, is all this, you know, polite. It does it all very politely. Very polite. Yeah. Canadian style. Canadian style is polite. I mean, and that's, and that's, that, that is a, that is a compliment to the country. Yeah. But no, it, it is. It is. I'd rather be known as a, as a polite country than a rude country. I would. I want to, I, I would like to be known as courteous, as kind. As, you know, I would, if, if, if I rather have a country known as courteous, kind, thoughtful people, and Canadians have earned that, have earned that label. Yeah, so I think I think every Canadian should wear it with pride. Myself, America is known as nasty, corrupt, sexist, racist. There, there, was, there, was, there was a survey done recently of what of what people didn't like about the United States. Mm -hmm. They it came down to two things. You know what they were? Violence and racism. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, and so I'm saying Canadians are busy. I mean, it's very polite. However, what you did on well, that day was wrong. Yeah, well, I don't think Canadians are going to stand for this. They're not going to accept this. You know, just as they didn't accept uh, the cruise missile testing in Western Canada when I did a protest on Parliament Hill, and you know, right. a protest against the government against the first Trudeau government. You know, got eighty percent support in the population, but the Conservative government that followed, you know, nonetheless, you know, we got uh, put into prison there. I've done a lot of prison right. time there, Steve, but it's been worth it. We okay, brother. Win. We will always win. Very good. We will. Okay, brother. Okay, good. See you next week. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.